you're listening to the Academy podcast, the podcast for people who can but don't know how. This is where you get actionable steps to turn vague dreams into blissful realities. And I'm your host, Omoshala Victoria Wallaby. So let's get started. Do you ever think to yourself, I want to be able to impact lives, leave an imprint in this world, but you feel isolated, stuck, unclear on how to show up or get started? If you've answered yes to this question, I want to extend a very special invitation to you to join us on our upcoming workshop, the Courageous Confidence Workshop. This workshop is live where we get to work together on that call so that you can crack the confidence code, awaken your inner giant, show up authentically and attract your tribe. Head on over to offers.icandemy.org forward slash courageous. Again, it's offers.icandemy.org forward slash courageous. You'll find the links in the show notes below. Hey, hey, and welcome to another episode of the Academy podcast. How you are doing today? How is life in general? On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. And it's talking, it's, it's about the power of pain and how can we leverage pain to produce better results. And I learned something so profound recently, so, so profound. I don't know about you though, but have you ever thought to yourself, like, can I just get a break? Can I just catch a break? Like, am I the only one in the world this is happening to right now? Have you ever wondered, like, when is life going to be easier for me? Like, when do I arrive? Like, when do I catch a break? When do I breed? I know in Nigeria, where I come from, we have this saying, like, ah, I've arrived, right? But I hate to bust your bubble, but there is no arrival. We'd never arrive. We hear countless stories of people who have attained a wealth, fame, and they never feel like they have arrived. They feel like there's always something more to accomplish. And that is exactly what life is all about. So there is never that arrival destination or arrival point where we ever get to and say, yes, we have arrived, right? And as I was thinking about this whole concept of the role of pain in our lives, I looked at the story of Job. So Job is a biblical story for those of you that know and those of you that do not know about a man who had everything, basically. He had the wealth. He had a family. He was respected in society. He was, he was up there. And he wasn't just an ordinary man. This was a man that was blessed by God until he lost everything, like literally overnight. He lost his family. He lost his wealth. He became sick. I mean, people were looking at him like this once respected guy all of a sudden becomes like the, the talk of the town and not in a good way, right? And I was, as I was reading through the book of Job, one thing that struck me there was the fact that regardless of, of the pain, he's still stuck to something called belief. Yes, he complained, he murmured, he couldn't make sense of it, he couldn't understand but belief was what kept him going, even against the advice of what people thought he should do in that situation. He was, he was, he was, he was pretty bad, right? Okay, family, let's face it. We've all felt pain. We've suffered the losses. You know what it's like to want something so bad, but not see a part to its accomplishment. The question, however, is, do you know how to pick yourself up and move on despite what has happened? This is what I share with you inside of my new book, Good Medicine for the Crushed Spirit, a practical guide to helping you find purpose when adversity strikes. Inside this book, you will find personal stories, relatable biblical tales, and anecdotes that prove you are never alone in your despair and will inspire you to turn pain, discomfort, disappointment, or setbacks into something positive that works for you. So if you're ready to change your life in meaningful and purposeful ways, get your copy of this book today and let the transformation begin. And I don't think any of us has literally suffered that depth of suffering and pain. But here's what I learned. 
The book of Job is full, full of insights, revelation, wisdom that we would never have had, had access to if Job did not go through what he went through. So imagine his level of confidence when he came out on the other side. Imagine the gift we get from reading his story, seeing his journey documented for all to see. That could only come out of the pain that he went through. And I was, as I was reflecting lately, I learned something profound, like I said before, that pain should always lead to gain, right? Pain should always lead to gain. When pain, our inability to exit pain in a way or leverage it for gain is what is called suffering. So suffering, in other words, is prolonged pain that we are unable to articulate and get out of. I know, I know, I know. There are so many things that happen in the world. And I'm not going to be to be ignorant and say, you know, every pain will always lead to a gain. What I mean by that statement is it depends on our perspective, how we see it. For example, I lost my dad when I was 13 years old. Oh, it was painful, terribly painful. But. As I grew older, I was able to see some silver linings in that happening. How do you ever see a silver lining in the death of your father just at 13 years old? That was supposed to be my rock. That was supposed to be the person who saw me through my teenage years. But he was not there. How, what was the silver lining I saw? It made me more resilient. It made me rely on God more for my supplies. It made me tougher than I ever thought I could ever be right? So that pain for me has resulted in gain in terms of my growth and development. See what I mean there? So I'm not saying there are pains that will not hit hard or we should be, we should just, you know, brush it aside and say, oh, every pain will lead to gain. So I'm okay with the pain. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying in essence is if we know how to leverage pain by putting it in a right perspective, we should always, always be able to benefit from that pain. But when we do not have the right perspective for that pain, it would lead into suffering because we are unable to exit that pain. We are stuck in the why me, why me, why me, right? And I do hope that's not that this episode changes your perspective on how you navigate through life, through pain, through difficult times, through challenges, so that we can all leverage our pain. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. And until the next one, keep on shining. This episode is sponsored by our very own Mogul Mindset Training. Are you ready to embrace new experiences, see opportunities where you thought there was none, and totally surprise yourself? Because you can by unleashing the power of your mind. Mogul Mindset System is a five-step system that helps you retrain your mind to work with you and not against you so you can awaken your inner giant, 10x your impact, your income, and become truly unstoppable. The truth is you, my friend, have a superpower, your creative genius, and I'm here to make that power multiply many fold so you can get past fear, self-doubt, and finally, that working and thriving in your life and business. Ready to unleash your superpowers? I thought you would. Head over to mogul.icandemy.org. That's M-O-G-U-L dot I-C-A-N-D-E-M-Y dot O-R-G to learn more. So there you have it. Thank you so much for listening. And for more content like this, follow us on our social media handles. On Facebook, it's at iCandemy, the Facebook page. On Instagram, it's at iCandemy. Or come say hello over on my personal page. On Instagram, it's at Omoshola Speaks. On Facebook, it's Victoria Wallaby. Feel free to reach out, introduce yourself, say hello. I love meeting you. And if you have any stories that you feel will inspire another woman to action, I want to hear from you. I really do. I love hearing from you. Send me an email to hello at icandemy.org. So it's hello at I-C-A-N-D-E-M-Y dot O-R-G.